Hello, I'm Dr. Messina, and today we're going to be reviewing a review by Dr. Ewan regarding a person who submitted an at-home tattoo removal procedure. Now, in this video, we see this gentleman apply a salt solution to the back of his hand and then add cocoa butter to the mixture. He then massages the back of his hand relatively gently and states that he did this a few times a week for a few weeks. And finally, he displays the result, which is a nearly complete removal of the tattoo. Now, Dr. Yoon at that point states that it wouldn't work. It would never get to the dermis. And I agree that in this instance, it probably wouldn't because he was very gentle. However, whether that person knew it or not, what he was actually doing was a very old medical technique called salibration. And salibration was a popular method to remove tattoos before the advent of Q-switched lasers, which by the way, was 1962, the first time a Q-switched ruby laser was utilized to remove a tattoo. The reason why salibration has really fallen out of favor is for three major side effects. Number one, the amount of pain. Number two, the risk of developing an infection. And number three, scar formation. Now looking on YouTube, you're gonna find hundreds of people using the salibration technique to remove their tattoos. And what they do is they take a concentrated salt solution, put it on the tattoo and rub it vigorously until it gets to something like this, where you see a bright, beefy red area around the tattoo, and then they wrap it. They've damaged the epidermis, and they've damaged it all the way down to the dermal level, and it forms an eschar. An eschar is what we used to see with the smallpox vaccine. And what would happen is when they would take the gauze off, that eschar, which is now thickened dead tissue, would fall off. And it would actually take some ink along with it because it went down to the dermis. However, the risk of getting an infection in that area is very high. And you're pretty much guaranteed to make a god awful scar. In these photos, we see a woman who applied a celebration procedure to her breast. And the eschar formation was quite severe and it got infected. That means she's going to have a scar and the position that it's in will probably be revealed every time she wears a low cut dress or an evening gown. So it's really an unfortunate turn of events. And that's why I do not recommend celebration for any of my patients. Now there's something important in the video that this gentleman submitted. He is a Fitzpatrick six, which means he's a very dark skin type. When we evaluate skin types, we go from one, which is very fair, cannot tan, has a very low level of melanin, to six, which is usually a darker skin type, African-American. They have a lot of melanin. They are very sensitive to trauma. So even something as simple as giving them a dermal filler, the needle could leave a tiny black puncture mark. Well, doing a celebration on the back of his hand, I'm surprised that he didn't either develop hyperpigmentation, which would be a darkening of the skin, or hypopigmentation, where he lost melanin completely and developed a whitening of the skin, which could be permanent. So if you happen to be a higher Fitzpatrick score, four and above, I definitely would not recommend doing a celebration. And like I said, I don't recommend it to any of my patients. Granted, laser tattoo removal is expensive. It could cost you hundreds to thousands of dollars. However, the outcome in general is very good. And the risk of making a scot in the proper hands is significantly less than if you did a celebration procedure. I hope you learned something in this video. And if you do like this information, remember click subscribe, hit the bell to be alerted to my future videos.